everybody. Let me pause the washing machine because that's going to start spinning. I just know it. It is quarter past 11. Um, had a little bit of a busy morning. I've just been getting a few jobs done. I've been doing some cups and some admin -y stuff. I've had to stop doing the cups because the printer needs ink and it's a whole job to get the ink into it. So we'll have to do that next week. We need to do it outside. It's a bit rainy, so they'll have to be on hold until Monday. Danny's going to show you the cups. Are you ready? <laughs> We're in the light there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so this Can one says, you you good? run before she knits something for you. And it's a cat hiding. And on the back, you've got a cat trying to get away. <laughs> And this one, this one's a bit hot for me to touch, so Danny's just going to hold it up. It says, if you walk a mile in my shoes, you will end up at a yarn store. And that's on both sides. There you go. So I have been working this morning. <laughs> I am now going to make a coffee. Standard. Standard. <laughs> and um, make a coffee and... Have a sit and have a little bit of a knit. I'm going to try and get my sock finished today because it's annoying me. It's nearly done. And then I can concentrate on Danny's socks. Part time. You know she's gone for about three pairs that don't fit. <laughs> Anyone would think I'm See, I'm coming, I'm coming back to my chirpy self. I'm coming back to my chirpy <laughs> self. It's coming. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with them cups. Really, really pleased with them cups. I love the cat one. Yeah, that might be that might be mine. <laughs> that's about right for you, isn't it? Yeah. Again, I'll yeah. show you. that's that's the cat one, and then there's that one. So we've got three cups so far for the update. I've got <laughs> another cup that um, Tony has requested, so I will get that done next week. And yeah, I think. That is everything so far this morning. Yeah, the, you know, well, there was supposed to be yarn dye, but that's now been pushed back. Just yeah, because... just because the weather's so bad and I've got so much washing to do when I need the space to dry the washing. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so much washing to do. I don't know where it's all come from, actually. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. You're not interested in where my washing has come from. <laughs> though, I'll be back in a bit. Guess what I've finished. Ta-da! My socks for Denise's make along year of the sock 2023. Yes, I know there was supposed to be Danny's, but Danny's socks are coming. They are coming. The first sock is nearly finished. He's looking at me right now. The first sock is nearly finished. And while I've knit these socks, I've enjoyed watching my daffodils grow. So it's been quite productive. They're really comfortable. I'm going to be honest, they weren't my favourite socks to knit. Um, I don't think I'll make another pair of these ones, but they are very, very comfortable. In fact, I might even just leave them on for the rest of the day. So pleased that's one of my projects finished. Now I will feel less guilty about casting on another project. I'm just going to go and put my yarn away upstairs. One second. So while I'm upstairs putting yarn away and getting this pattern out for tomorrow, I am going to look in this box and see what yarn we've got to put in the scrappy blanket. So this is what I've got. I need something to go with that. Ooh, that's far too small a ball. That's clearly attached to something. Keep winding, see what you come across. Oh, no, it's not attached to anything. That one needs winding back up. Oh, there's that one. I might put that in it, you know. Yeah, I'll put that one in it. Oh, look. <laughs> That's attached to a head. Maybe not that one. Might have to be this one, then. That's very bright, isn't it? We'll pop that one in it. <laughs> That's got a little bear attached to it. Put these back. This is all acrylic yarn. So is that one. 
Hang on a minute. That's my sock basket. As you can see, it's overflowing a little bit. And this, that's hamster food. And this is Danny's blessing. He's got two pairs of socks. I am rectifying that. That's where I've put the singer. And there are all my little crochet bears. They're all piled up back there. And my current visible yarn stash. And a few books. And blocking mats. <laughs> Do you think this is just your chair? Look at that look that you're giving me. This is actually my chair. But you believe that it belongs to you. You're very cute though, Stuart. Stuart. Stuart! Look at his face. It's like, how dare you disturb me, woman. A good boy. He's such a good boy. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Look at that face. Butter wouldn't melt. Oh, look. Butter wouldn't melt. Nobody would believe that you can be a little monkey from time to time. Oh, gorgeous boy. Hello, everybody. It is now half past five. It's still relatively light outside. So I thought I'd take the opportunity and end the vlog here so we can have a little bit of a chat while it's still light outside and I don't have to use the official uh, artificial light. So have the blanket. As predicted, I'm making not very much progress on it, to be fair. <laughs> Never mind. It's taking quite a while to get around the rows now, but I don't want it massive. I want it just big enough that I can cover myself up on an evening with it. Um, I'm going to put that red colour in next that I showed you earlier on as well, which should be really nice. Somebody asked about the dog and her licking yesterday and was it an anxiety thing? I'm just stopping her doing it now. No, it's not an anxiety thing. Ruby has allergies. She does have tablets and they have helped massively. I don't know if you remember last year, she'd actually licked like big patches of fur off of her body. Um, don't know what the allergies are, been through all the obvious things and it's not that. It does seem to be worse when she's in and around a season because Ruby's not spared. Um, but yes, she does have allergies. That's why she licks so much. And scratches <laughs> we just don't know what kind of allergies it could be anything it does seem to be better during the winter than it is during the summer which tells me it's got to be weather related somehow but yeah that's why she licks so much bless her um what else was i going to say there was that question i had there was another one i can't remember what the other question was gone completely out of my mind but I have just been watching Sweet Tea No Shade they haven't <laughs> podcasted for about a year and I really like them um, and they've put a video up again so if you are a Sweet Tea No Shade fan there is a new podcast up it was out maybe a week or two back it's been on my uh, watch later list so I've just been sat enjoying that which has been really good as well so, as I said yesterday, Mother's Day is um, tomorrow for us UK mums, which is always a nice time of the year. I don't know. I know I've got some yarn off the kids, which is really nice. And I'll, I'll just, I've never sort of make any major plans. We don't go out for meals or anything like that because it's so busy everywhere. So we don't tend to do that. Um, but it's just a nice day. The kids do look after me on Mother's Day. I don't have to do very much. They make me coffees and pass me things so I can just sit and relax. And that is what I plan on doing tomorrow. Apart from the roast dinner, I'll be making a roast dinner. Not, um, I'm saying a roast dinner. It's a bit of a cheats roast dinner. I'm not cooking all that fat. It's Mother's Day. So I've just, I've got some pre-made giant Yorkshire puddings. 
and we're going to have sausages and onion gravy and some vegetables and some stuffing and Danny's coffin and some roast potatoes which apart from that I am going to sit tomorrow on the sofa all day long and I'm going to knit and I am going to thoroughly enjoy every single second Oh, that was what else I was going to say. I was asked as well, did I get the Easter treat box from Crafty Clegg's Creations? Yes, I did. They sold out so, so fast. I think it was under a minute. So, yeah, it was just a real treat. So I'm really excited. I don't know when it gets shipped. Um, It'll just be a nice surprise when it eventually arrives. But I did manage to get one. And I've decided out of the yarn, me and Danny will have matching socks. So I'm going to make a pair for me and a pair for Danny. And there will be our Easter socks. I'm hoping I can get a pair for me and a pair for Danny out of 100 grams. I'm sure I can. Normally I sort of use, if I do contrast heels, toes and cuffs, I'll use less than 40 grams of yarn. And for Danny about 60 grams of yarn. So I just must make sure I use contrast heel, toes and cuffs. I've got some yellow yarn that I can use. I do apologise if you can hear Finlay in the background. He seems to have the fits of giggles at the moment. He's chatting with his friend. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with the yarn. Yes, so that's that. Don't know what the plans are next yet for next week. It will be all the finishing touches for the shop update, I should imagine, which will be, is that the week after? Yeah, it will be the week after, won't it? So we'll be busy doing that next week. Um, so th what we've got going in this time is yarn and cups. No, no, but no notebooks this time. They will be coming back, but I try not to put the same things in the shop all the time. I like to mix it all up a little bit. They'll come back at a later date. Um, so, yeah. I watched a really interesting program on Netflix today as well. It was What Happened to the Fly MH370 on Netflix. It was really, really interesting to watch. It was three episodes, about an hour long each. I was absolutely glued to it this afternoon while I finished my sock. It was, it was quite something to watch that... You can't quite believe that a plane could just vanish and that the authorities can close the case and not continue looking for it. It was it was really interesting to watch. So if you like that kind of true life sort of thing, I'd recommend that on Netflix. It was quite good. And yeah, I think that is about everything. I think. I'm looking forward to casting on the slip extravaganza tomorrow. I got the pattern out today. For those of you that haven't seen it, this is it. And that is the slip extravaganza. I did cast this on originally a few months ago. Chose complete, <coughs> excuse me, chose completely the wrong colours, and I just wasn't enjoying it. So I am going to recast it on tomorrow. This is probably the wrong thing to be casting on at this time because it's a big project. I've also got the Halo jumper and the Mysterium tee all to finish. So I'm going to have three quite large projects on the go. It's not going to stop me casting it on, but it has pricked my mind a little bit that says, Alex, this is not a good idea, but I'm still going to do it anyway. Have we had no chance? Um... Once I get the halo top past the lace section, that will become zoom knitting. At the moment, the Mysterium T is zoom knitting. But I kind of find that when I get to certain points in a project, yeah. I'll just finish it. Like this, the socks that I made for me, which were supposed to be for Danny, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd really dawdled around on them yeah, socks. Yeah. And all of a sudden this morning, I just got up and thought, I'll just finish them socks oh today. So I do tend to do that with projects and it'll just all of a sudden I'll finish it. Um, but somebody had also said, 
I was talking about the star blanket the other day and I was said I was gonna cast it on in May, June. And somebody had said, is that such a good idea with the star blanket? It's going to be huge and it's going to be summer. That is such a good point. Never even entered my head that. So yeah, right. I'm going to rethink when I cast the star blanket on. I may actually try and cast that on a bit sooner. I mean, I've got the year to knit that one. I'm not too concerned. But once it gets to October... Yeah, knitting... I don't want to have any big projects on the go because I'm going to be doing the MCAL during October and then knit vent starts at the end of October and takes up most of November and then it's advent knitting in December so once it gets to October I'm kind of stumped which is why I said May June but I'll figure it all out I see I never do a make nine at the start of the year mainly because the second that I put something on a list and I say I'm gonna do this Every instinct that I has wants to do something completely different. I'm such a child that way, so I know that if I do a make nine, I won't stick to it. But then as the beginning of the year has progressed, I've kind of like subconsciously done this make nine in my head of the projects that I want to do this year. So, well, not really, because why does the dog keep doing that when I'm blogging? Um, not really, because the knit vent, I don't know what's included no, in that. It was the first time I did the knit vent last year, and I loved it because it was all scrappy projects. I don't know what they're going to be this year, but I'm sure I'll like it. It was the excitement, that you see, of getting the pattern each week, and that's what I've liked having the West Knit year of socks. I've loved that excitement of each month getting a new pattern. I've liked the painting bricks socks were definitely my favourite. I'm doing Danny's now. I'll show you Danny's progress on his because the first sock's nearly done. And I actually don't need the pattern for it now. Oops. Sorry, I've got a my small ball of yarn inside the sock because I've got two balls of yarn attached and they keep tangling. So when I'm, when I'm not knitting on it, I stick a ball inside. But yeah, aren't they gorgeous? I don't actually need the pattern for these now. It's really intuitive. This is my favourite. No. I like the Dustland. I've did the Dustland socks as well, and I really like those. I'll have to make him another pair of those. Haven't tried the cable trellis socks. Um, and like I said, the woven, the woven check socks. They are very, very comfortable. I absolutely love the finished item. I just didn't enjoy making them. I feel so bad saying that. And I don't know why. I mean, it could be totally utterly because I hadn't planned on making them for me they were supposed to be for Danny and of course they didn't fit um but yeah I didn't enjoy making them ones but I'm looking forward to seeing what the next one is oh I tried the painting triangle ones that was the other one I tried I tried the painting triangle socks and I did one sock and it's obviously some kind of color work issue with me because the painted triangle socks are like a colour work type sock and they were far too tight for Danny. And I'd cast on 72 stitches and done the bigger needle and still it, couldn't, it could get them on but they were very tight. So I've clearly got a colour work issue with socks. It doesn't matter. But it'd be interesting to see what the next socks are. I'm hoping they're not colour work ones. <laughs> It don't matter if they are, because even if the the rest of the West Nick socks are colour work socks, I'll get practising, won't I? And by the end of the year, I'll be much better at it. Yes. Oh, dear me. Never mind, never mind. So, yeah, I think that's about it for now, really. I probably should let you all get on and enjoy the rest of your Saturday night. Um, oh, I haven't shown you my daffodils. I meant to show you earlier. Look how much they've grown. Aren't they pretty? Mm, nice. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Pound they were from the co-op. Lovely, aren't they? I don't know how long they'll last. So I'll let you all go and enjoy the rest of your Saturday night. Thank you for joining me today, everybody. And I will see you tomorrow for the... 19. Bye-bye. <laughs>